Hi, I'm Monique and I'm an energising communicator. I grew up in a household of words and colourful, vibrant stories and learnt from a young age about the power of language. Language plays an incredibly important role in our lives, both professionally and personally. We use it to describe the world around us, we use it to describe where we've come from, where we're going and who we are. Have you ever considered that consciously choosing the language you use could perhaps lead to better health, increased energy and greater success? Let me show you an example. You're well rested, you've had a couple of days off, you're eating well and someone says, are you okay? You look tired. Suddenly your eyelids feel heavy and you feel like you need a nap. Sound familiar? Or if you don't feel tired, do you feel a bit insulted about the way you're being perceived? It's happened to me before and really telling someone they look tired, does that help their vitality? Language can be used in a variety of different ways. It can intimidate, it can inspire, it can inform or innovate and even influence both our outer world and our inner world. Take for example the words you use to describe yourself. If you were at a meeting where you had to introduce yourself to the group, what words would you use? Are they the words that describe what you do or would they be the words that describe who you are? The reason I'm using this as an example is that the words you share to introduce yourself externally affect you internally as well. Let's take a moment to absorb that. What you share without, you share within. Language and the stories we tell about ourselves to the world contribute significantly to the way we see the world and how the world sees us. And even more importantly, these words contribute to our own sense of value, our confidence and self-worth. So I want you to consider the power of intent, of focusing your thoughts and energy on how you truly want to be perceived both professionally and personally. Commit to it and take steps every day to live true to that intention. Do you want to be known and remembered as the party animal, the attention seeker, the knowledge freak, the rock, the emotional vampire, the heart on legs, the supporter, the business whirlwind, the innovative leader, the funny one or an energizing communicator like me? It's your choice. Intent is one of the keys to manifesting or creating success and happiness in your life. So choose your best description of you, set an alert in your phone to remind you every day of your amazingness and show the best and real you to the world. I'll be sharing more of my language tools with you soon to help you deprogram, to reprogram and write the new story of the life you truly want. So make sure you subscribe to my vlog and join my mailing list at getalife.net.nz.